So uh, <clears throat> I begin by thank you, uh, thanking uh, everyone is here. My topic today is about the local branching based algorithm for uh, the knapsack problem we set up. So <clears throat> we start by an introduction and uh, then we uh, go to the problem formulation and background. Uh, next, we uh, move to um, the construction of starting solution and the presentation of uh, the local printing method and its adaptation of the local uh, on our uh, uh, in our case. And finally, um, we move to the computational results and uh, conclusion. So the knapsack problem we set up uh, can be viewed as the more complex variant of the well-known knapsack problem. Here on the set of considered items is divided into a set of classes where each class is characterized by both fixed cost and fixed capacity. While an item can be select, um, selected if the class containing that item is activated. The knapsack uh, with uh, setup finds its application in many real world industrial and financial and app uh, application applications, sorry, uh, such as order production, planning and shielding, every conception, energy conception, uh, management, and more generally resource allocation. The knapsack problem we set up has also an important, um, important theoretical issue because it's generalization of the classical uh, knapsack problem. The goal of the problem uh, is to maximize the difference between the profit related to the selected items and that related to the fixed cost incurred for setting up classes without violating the knapsack capacity constraint. Uh, so this uh, picture presents um, a knapsack problem answers, the classical knapsack problem. So we have here a uh, knapsack with maximum weight and many items uh, where each of them has uh, a weight and profit. And in the second picture, we see the knapsack problem with, um, with setup. Uh, where we see a uh, knapsack with maximum weight and many classes where each of them contain, uh, contain many, um, many uh, uh, items. The difference between the two problems is uh, that the knapsack problem with um, setups um, has uh, classes. Each of these classes um, has a uh, profit and uh, weight. And if we want to select, for example, the money, we are obliged to uh, activate uh, the second class uh, that contains money. Uh, we pass uh, to problem formulation. Mm, we start by the parameters of the problem. So we have the set uh, I is the set of different uh, classes associated with items. Um, we have uh, the number of uh, classes is M. N E denotes number of items belonging to the class I. And P I G denotes the non-negative is the non-negative profit of the G S item of the G S class. Uh, WIG is the non-negative weight of the GS item of the GS class, and FI is the non-negative if the setup. Um, sorry, just... okay. Yes. <clears throat> uh, non-negative setup cost that uh, is incurred in case of um, item of classes ER selected in the solution. Sorry. Uh, SI is the capacity 
<clears throat> that consumed in case items of class E is selected in the solution. And finally, C is the total capacity of the knapsack. Um, so the variable, the binary variable, uh, variables of uh, the problem uh, are uh, the yi, which is equal to one if the family i is activated and zero other ways, and xij uh, equal to one if the object g of the class um, i is selected and zero other ways. Uh, this is the description of the model. Uh, this is the model, yeah. And so uh, the objective function uh, is to maximize, as, maximize, sorry, the total profit of items minus the total uh, sum of um, uh, activated uh, classes. And the constraint to ensure that the <clears throat> uh, selected items plus the, the activated um, plus the, the weight, sorry, the weight of selected items plus the weight of activated classes um, uh, does not does not sorry exceed the knapsack capacity C. The third. Uh, the third uh, constraint um, means that if we uh, if we want to select the item ij, so we are obliged to activate its uh, um, class. And finally, uh, the constraint of tape four represents all binary variables. For the background, in uh, ninety. Um, 19, sorry, 93, uh, Girard tackled the knapsack by using Lagrangian decomposition uh, where no restriction on the non-negativity are <clears throat> uh, of both setup cost of each class and the profit of each item are considered. And um, <clears throat> Akin and Altai uh, in between um, um, 26 and 28 uh, um, present a special case of a knapsack problem with setup. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, uh, it call, was called the fixed child knapsack problem. And in 2015, <clears throat> Uh, Shabil and Shimar designed a special trunked tree search for ap approximately solving the knapsack problem with startup. The method consists in reformulating the original problem into a particular integer problem. And uh, in 2017, uh, Michel et all addressed uh, multiple class integer knapsack problem with startup. And for the, that case, the weight associated uh, to items are related to the classes in the total weight is bounded by both lower and upper weight bound. And uh, <clears throat> also in 2017, Fiorini sorry, developed a linear uh, time algorithm for optimally solving the continuous relaxation of different integer linear programming formations of the knapsack with uh, setup. And Dela in uh, 2017, tw oh, sorry. Uh, designed an exact method which uh, handles the structure of the formal dissection of uh, knapsack problem. And uh, in 2018, um, uh, uh, dynamic programming algorithm uh, uh, was studied by uh, uh, there's G, I, I don't know how that's pronounced. Okay, and for in 20, um, 
19, sorry, Chevillier proposed a multi-level matheuristic for solving large-scale problem instances of the knapsack problem with setup and multiple knapsack version of the problem. And finally, Amiri in uh, 2019 pro pro uh, proposed an adaptation of the Lagrangian relaxation based algorithm for solving the knapsack problem with setup. Uh, so for um, const, uh, we, we start by const, sorry, yes, by the construction of starting solution of knapsack problem with setup. Um, so here, uh, this uh, the relaxation of problem where we uh, relax the binary variable of our problems. And let S be the set of indices of uh, the class is fixed to one and C prime is the, the new uh, capacity obtained by the old capacity minus the sum of activated classes. Here we have to um, solve uh, the classical uh, uh, knapsack problem uh, with capacity C prime and uh, elements uh, X, I, J. So this is the algorithm uh, for generating the starting solution. Um, so the, this algorithm describes the main steps of uh, GCP that, uh, that is used for providing starting solution and used as the core of proposed method. Firstly, we uh, solve the relaxation problem um, of uh, the relaxation problem, yes. Uh, so uh, secondly, we obtain uh, let's why uh, prime the solution extracts from <coughs> um, the solution obtained by the relaxation, such as we uh, we fix um, the the integer value of the of uh, this vector and vector sorry, and uh, we <coughs> turn to one the fraction the fractions. Um, the fractional values, uh, and uh, let S be the set of um, activated uh, classes, and C prime it's the new it's the new um, uh, capacity. Here we have to uh, resolve, uh, solve sorry the uh, the knapsack the the classical knapsack uh, problem to obtain um, the starting solution. Uh, the, the the local branching method. The original of the uh, the local branching method has been first introduced by FGT and uh, Loli, especially for efficiently tackling mixed integer formulations of hard combinatorial optimization problems. The solution related to uh, such formulations is often done by calling the black box solver like Guru, Cplex, and Lingo because of the aforementioned uh, solvers are not able to optimally solve large scale instances. Uh, the LB can be used uh, as an alternative uh, at least for enhancing the quality of solutions. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, the constraint, uh, the inequality five presents the delta constraint um, uh, that, uh, that uh, defines the neighborhood N of the vector um, Y prime. Here, the schema, the basic schema of local uh, region, uh, branching, sorry. So we have, uh, we start by initial solution X1. Uh, we branch, so we solve uh, our problem in addition to the delta constraint relative to X1. Uh, we uh, obtain here an improved solution X2. In the other part, we inject, inject uh, the delta constraint uh, um, greater than uh, k plus one 
<clears throat> and in this node, we solve the problem uh, in addition to the constraint delta relative to x2. Um, we obtain an approved solution uh, x3 in the other part here we uh, inject to the pro uh, the problem the delta related to x x2 uh, greater than a, uh, k uh, plus one and in uh, we see here in this node um, also we uh, do the uh, we inject uh, the, the data constraint relative to X3. And in the uh, fourth uh, uh, node, we have no improved solution. So in the, uh, the node five, we, um, we stop, we uh, check the, the, the branch. Um, so um, the principle uh, of uh, LB-based algorithm may be described as follows. Um, let S be the starting solution. Uh, we initialize the first tree with the solution previous, uh, previously uh, generated. Uh, third, <clears throat> uh, alternative phase, uh, we uh, solve the local tree. Then the local search terminates. The following two cases are distinguished. The first case is where um, the feasible, better feasible solution has been uh, found, provided. And uh, here we, uh, we create a new tree using the information improved solution. And in the second case, uh, the solution has not been improved, so we <clears throat> uh, abort the local branch. And we, we, fourthly, we uh, solve the rest of the search tree, and we turn finally the best solution found. This is uh, the algorithm of uh, uh, the local branching adaptation on our problem. <clears throat> and uh, uh, <clears throat> for the computational result, the proposed method is evaluated. We, <clears throat> uh, we test the, our a method on two sets of bench uh, benchmarking instances. The first uh, st set contains um, 200 uh, small sized instances extra extract from Shubil and all. And the second set containing uh, 30 large scale um, instances are randomly generated uh, following uh, the same generator using Shipil and all. We denote that the first set includes uh, 20 groups where each group contains uh, 10 instances. Uh, this is the characteristic of uh, our, the instances. Mm, they are generating uh, the parameters are generated uh, using the for uh, formula. Okay. And the proposed method was coded in C and ran on Nantel uh, core E3. The first table uh, shows the, the different results uh, obtained by comparing uh, the parameter k um, from 2 to 10. And we, um, we observe that uh, on the one hand, we, uh, we observe that uh, the best goal average value is achieved for k equal to 8. The value is uh, 79,000 uh, and, um, and uh, 
200. On the other hand, for k equal to 7, the method is able to provide a closest value to that k equal to 8. Okay, because we seek the very uh, the versions able to provide both better better sorry solutions and average global values, um, we then maintain both values of k seven and eight. And the second table uh, shows the uh, result of our method. Um, comparing with this, uh, the best solutions reached by the other two methods. Uh, our method is LBBM. So the LBBM with uh, K equal to seven and eight uh, respectively achieves an average gap, uh, which is uh, on blue and red. So it's, um, while uh, Lagrange's average gap is equal to uh, this one, yeah, that and that of MRAD is more greater. Uh, MRAD provides 127 optimal values representing uh, per person why our method match um, 161 optimal values for k equal to seven, uh, presenting a percentage of um, 80, uh, uh, yes, 80, um, and um, uh, 154 ones for k equal to eight. Even uh, LBBM's average runtime remains higher than comparing it to those consumed by both lag, lag and uh, MRAD, lag region method. Uh, but it remains very reasonable for a method using a local branching strategy. And in the last table, we uh, here <coughs> we see the large scale instances uh, where we observe that the LBBM remains competitive uh, then uh, comparing its results to those achieved by the CPLEX solver. LBBM is able to provide 10 better average bounds with K equal to seven, columns five in blue, mm -hmm. than those achieved by CPLEX. And LBBM's uh, global average bound is equal uh, to <clears throat> this uh, big number, which is bigger, uh, yes. Our, yes, which is bigger than the CPLEX uh, global average bound. Uh, the same thing for the gap. In conclusion, we see that in this talk, the knapsack problem with setup is presented. Such problem is more complex variant of the well-known binary knapsack problem. Local branching based method uh, was presented for approximately solving, solving the problem. The method contains two features. The first one is solving series of relaxed mixed uh, programs. And the second is to add in the series of local branching constraints into the tree. And both strategy, strategies uh, cooperate for creating tree search where each path corresponds to adding a series of constraints relating to the current uh, or improved solutions. The performance of proposed method was analyzed on two sets of instances um, containing small and large scale benchmark instances. According to the experimental part, uh, the proposed method remains competitive where it performs uh, the methods available um, in the literature and it's able to provide solutions with better qualities for large scale instances. 
Entonces, uh, thank you for your attention.